Hello everyone and welcome to Hot Shots episode 2. I'm your host Chris Stano with HotShotsCatering.com and I have a great review for you today. This is Jack Daniels very own Tennessee Whiskey Coffee good old number 7. Uh, as you can tell I have actually never tried this before and it is perfectly 100% sealed so I am very excited to try it today. It is made with 100% Arabica beans and uh, actually infused with Jack Daniels very own Tennessee whiskey. Now I will tell you unfortunately it does not have any alcohol in it. It is non-alcoholic product but uh, let's give it a taste. Let's see how it is. I'm excited to try it and quite honestly I haven't heard anything about it. So let's dive into this and uh, let's see first how are we going to brew something like this. Be right back. Nothing better than a good old trusty pour over. Am I right? So, we have our hot water here that we're going to be using for burning my hand as well as brewing our gourmet coffee. We have the coffee here as well. Now, something I want to tell you guys, I actually, just going to show you, already pulled the seal. Now, why did I do that? And this is something good for you guys to know at home, uh, is to kind of find out first, we want to test our brewing methods with the coffee ahead of time just so that we know we're getting the absolutely best taste that we can before we physically brew it and to obviously for testing purposes we want to know exactly the right ratios and everything like that so that we can give you an honest review on it so that being said i have already opened this can I can tell you just based on the smell, it smells wonderful. I can definitely smell kind of a bourbon whiskey, uh, which you would assume is what you would be smelling. Uh, and then it's very got a lot of chocolate notes to it. It smells very good in other words. So we're going to start out with this. I'm probably going to do a few tablespoons of this, maybe two to three, and then I'm going to uh, infuse it with about close to six to, well, even more than that, about 12 ounces of water. Um, and then we are going to get brewing on this. So let's do that right now. Um, first impressions. It smells good. <laughs> so let's start there. And we're going to put in first our few tablespoons of coffee here. Now what I will say too is the water, we have it reached uh, right at, heated to, right at about 200 degrees. So it's at perfect temp for brewing this type of process uh, and in another video down the road we will go over how this whole process works the different uh, different processes to actually do different types of brewing such as a pour over or a siphon coffee and what those all mean but to be very simple and for this test I want to just be as simple as possible and uh, give you guys a good uh, review of this coffee so I got my coffee in and now we are going to just do our pour over here. And I'm going to first just kind of get all the ground saturated. That's what you want to do first with all this coffee. And we'll let it rest for a second, kind of bloom as they call it. Um, and something else I'll tell you, you know, this mentioned on the can that you wanted to do about one tablespoon for about six ounces of water. Uh, I'll tell you that's probably not what you want to do. And most of the time, whenever you're looking at coffee, um, everyone's got different tastes, correct? So my tastes normally lead towards medium to dark, uh, but in my testing purposes here, I want to be able to kind of get what maybe the average person would have or something close to that. Um, so in this scenario, it says that I brewed it uh, the first time that way, you know, six ounces of hot water to one tablespoon of coffee. And like most of the bags and the machines and things like that, that or the, excuse me, the coffee that you get will have some kind of ratio on it. And I would personally say a lot of times that's incorrect. And really it doesn't matter because you want to do it to your own taste as well. So 
Got this going, let's brew a little bit more. We're gonna pour the rest of this water in here without making a mess, of course. I think that's good. So we'll let this brew and then I'm gonna come back and we'll actually do the tasting uh, of what this tastes like and uh, give you kind of a good full review uh, in the next set. Okay, so here we are. We have our fresh brewed Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey coffee here. Uh, and let's just pour it and see how it smells, see how it tastes and uh, yeah. We'll leave a little bit of room for cream, uh, but let's just start off. The smells, I can definitely taste that aroma of whiskey, bourbon, uh, it's, it's definitely there. So let's have a taste here. I'm gonna say it's very, very good. Uh, I can really, really taste the whiskey notes, uh, the old number seven notes. Um, not too much though, it's not overpowering, which is a very good thing in my opinion. Uh, it definitely tastes like coffee, but it's a very good, they did a good job doing a very good even ratio of that taste. It's not overpowering. Uh, it's almost chocolatey, chocolatey, uh, and uh, kind of dark. It's not very acidic at all, at least the way we brewed it. Um, and uh, overall, I think it tastes wonderful. I mean, there's not too much here in this review, uh, even going into this, as you guys probably know, uh, that we're going to find. You know, we're not going to find all these different fruit notes or anything like that. It's Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey in a coffee infusion. So uh, we pretty much know how that's going to taste. But I can tell you, it is delicious. I think I could drink this every morning. Um, Definitely from the standpoint that it's non-alcoholic, uh, it is very, very tasty to me. Uh, I'm going to try a little bit of cream as well, see what other flavors kind of come out when we add a little bit of cream here, and we'll stir that up. Uh, but overall, I will say from the moment I opened this can, it smelled wonderful, and uh, it tastes wonderful too. Everything's still there, uh, but obviously now when you add some uh, cream to it, uh, you definitely get a little bit more of that uh, um, creamy notes, if you will, so or buttery, if you will. So it's it's very good. Uh, bottom line, I would definitely buy this. Um, we actually purchased this at World Market, so I know that they have that in stock there, uh, but you can obviously buy it on Amazon or anywhere else. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for checking out this video today uh, at Hot Shots TV Episode 2. Uh, we're very happy to be doing these episodes and we hope that you are learning something as well. Um, if you don't know our background, HotShotsCatering.com, we are the DFW Metroplex's gourmet coffee experience. We go around the whole Dallas Metroplex and we actually do gourmet mobile coffee for a lot of corporate events, weddings, and conventions, things of that nature. Um, so definitely check out hotshotscatering.com. And if you like this video and you're enjoying the Hot Shots TV here, definitely subscribe down below. Leave a comment. Let us know what you guys want to check out next time. Uh, we do have something coming up. I believe that we're going to be experiencing several different types of coffee and maybe doing kind of a you know, a review of five to 10 different coffees that are popular out there and uh, just kind of giving you our opinion on it and uh, seeing if it's worth a, a buy. Um, so thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.